Science Lates, we need to talk. We need to talk about suicide. Suicide, by definition, is the act of intentionally ending your own life. And every year in the UK, over 6,000 people commit suicide, and tens of thousands more make attempts. The reason why we use the term commit suicide is because it's actually illegal in the UK to try and kill yourself up until 1961. Reversely, should you fail, then punishable by law. Suicide is the leading cause of death for the majority of the audience here today. Young men aged between 20 and 34 who are four times more likely to kill themselves than their age-matched female counterparts. There are lots of reasons why men are more likely to kill themselves, but one of the reasons is that sadly, we still tell our young boys and men to man up and hide how they feel and not talk. There are other reasons, such as men being more likely to be alcohol dependent and also choosing more lethal methods, such as hanging versus overdosing females. There's no one reason why someone chooses to end their own life, but there are risk factors which increase your chances. For example, growing up in care, a history of trauma or abuse, having a family member kill themselves being in prison, being gay, being transgendered. Over a third of our transgender community will attempt to kill themselves at some point in their life. Standing here today as a psychiatrist in front of you, we can't avoid the impact of mental health. And over 90% of suicide completees have some form of mental disorder. So that's fine, isn't it? Because I'm going to see them and look after them and keep them safe. Well, sadly not, because the majority don't go and see any health professional like myself or their GP in the time leading up to their death. But they do see all of you, their friends, their families, they're your brothers, your sisters. Science tells us that in the brain stems and spinal fluid of suicide completers, 5-HT or serotonin, the happy chemical, is lowered. So why don't we just measure that? Well, that's complicated, and actually, they're already dead by then. So what can we do? Six simple words. Ask, have you thought about killing yourself if you're worried about someone? And if they say yes, what do you do? You can take them to the GP, to A&E, to their local crisis team, get, get charities such as Heads Together or Papyrus. There's people out there who want to help you get better. It's okay not to be okay. We need to look after each other. And finally, why the six? Well, sadly, in the time it's taken for me to walk onto the stage today, and by the time I finish talking to you, six lives will have been lost around the world due to suicide. Science Lates, please, I urge you, it's time we all start talking about suicide. Thank you for listening, and please look after each other. It's okay to talk. Thank you.